Hey guys, in this video we'll be solving a couple of word problems which of course involve simplification. So let's jump on to question 1. What will be the income of a company after 5 years if the income doubles every year and the initial income is given which is 2 lakhs. So we have been given the initial income of the company which is 2 lakhs. So initial income is 2 lakhs. 2 lakhs is 2 into 10 raised to power 5 rupees. Also we have been given that the income of this company doubles every year. So every year the income is going to double. So after one year the income will be 2 into 10 raised to power 5 times 2. Isn't it? You will multiply by 2 to double the term. So after one year it will be multiplied by 2 then after 2 years the income of the previous year will be multiplied by 2. After again one year it will be 2 into 10 raised to the power 5 into 2 into 2. Now after 3 years it will be 2 times 10 raised to the power 5 times 2 times 2 again times 2 because it doubles after every one year. If you observe carefully, this is forming a pattern. This is this is 2 raised to 1, this is 2 raised to 2, this is 2 raised to 3, and so on. So after one year, it is the initial amount times 2 raised to 1. After two years, it is initial amount times 2 raised to 2. So after five years, which is asked, after five years, the amount will be the initial amount which is 2 into 10 raised to the power 5 times 2 raised to 5. Now this is equal to this is 1 2 and this is 2 raised to 5. So this will be equal to 2 raised to 6 times 10 raised to the power 5. So the answer is option 1. Let us solve question number 2 and find out its answer. So it is given that 26 trees are planted at equal distances along a strip of 225 meter length. So there is a strip of 225 meters. There are trees planted at equal distances along that and the number of trees is 26. But it is also given that one tree is planted at each side of the strip. So there is one tree planted at each side of the strip. So inside there are 24 trees which are remaining. Now you have been asked the difference between the consecutive trees. So you have been asked this distance. So to find the distance you will have to first calculate in how many parts is this strip getting divided because of the trees. Once you get those parts then you can calculate the length of each part which is ultimately the distance between the two trees. So to make things simpler let us take a simple example. Let us take a strip of 5 meters. So this is a strip of 5 meters. Okay, let's say you have planted two trees at each side. So you have two trees. Now you have to divide this strip of 5 meters into let's say 5 parts. So I have divided here. There is one tree. There is another tree. There is the third tree. Now there are 1, 2, 3 and 4 parts but we need to divide it into five parts so another tree is needed. So to divide this into five parts you need one, two, three and four trees on the inside and two trees on each side of the strip. So if you plant six trees you get five parts and of these six trees remember that two trees are on each side of the strip. So you plant six trees you get five parts. Similarly, in the case of our question, you are planting 26 trees. So if you are planting 26 trees, you get 25 parts using the analogy that we've developed with the help of another example. So 26 trees, 25 parts. So the length of the strip is 225 meters and it is divided into 25 parts. So length of each part will be equal to the complete length divided by 25 and this is equal to 9. 
So the length of each part is equal to 9 meters. Therefore, we can conclude that the distance between two trees is 9 meters. So our answer is option 1. Okay, let's move on to question 3 and find out its answer. Okay, so you have been given the total monthly salary of 10 men and 5 women as 50,000 rupees. And if a woman earns 490 rupees more than a man, what is the monthly salary of a woman? So let us consider the salary of a man as X. And then we have the salary of a woman as 490 more than the salary of a man. So X plus 490. Now from this statement we can develop an equation. The monthly salary of 10 men and 5 women. So we have 10 men. So the complete salary of 10 men would be 10x and the complete salary of 5 women would be 5 times x plus 490 from here. And if you add these, you get 50,000. That's what is given, the total monthly salary of 10 men and 5 women. Now you have to solve this equation to get the value of x. And from x, you can calculate the salary of a woman. So let's solve this. 10x plus 5x plus 490 times 5 is equal to 2450, which is equal to 50,000. Now 15x is equal to, we have 50,000 minus 2450. Now x is equal to, the difference of 50,000 minus 2450 is equal to 4750. And we have to divide it by 15. So x's value is 3170 if you calculate this division. So 3170 rupees is the salary of a man. Now the salary of a woman is 490 more than the salary of a man. So it is equal to the salary of a man is 3170 plus 490 which is equal to you get 3660. So the answer is option D. Let us solve question number 4. So it is given that one third of a tank holds 80 liters and you have been asked the quantity of water that the half of the tank holds. So let us consider the capacity is equal to x liters. From the given data we can write one third of this tank's capacity is 80 liters. So one third of x is equal to 80 liters. Now we can calculate the complete capacity of tank. x is equal to 80 times 3 is 240 liters. So the complete capacity of tank is 240 liters. But that's not being asked. You have been asked the half capacity of tank. So x by 2 is equal to 240 by 2 which is equal to 120. So 120 liter is the half capacity of tank. Let us solve a similar question now. So you have been given that 135 liters of oil is held by the tank when it is one fourth full. And the question is that how much is the tank full when it contains 180 liters of oil? So let us first consider that the capacity of the tank is x liters. And from the given data, 135 liters of oil is there in the tank when it is one fourth full. So one fourth of x is equal to 135. Therefore, the complete capacity is equal to 135 times 4. Let's keep it as it is. Let's move on to what is being asked. How much of the tank full when it is 180 liters full? So literally it is asking how much of x is equal to 180 liters. So this is a fraction of x. Let us assume that this fraction is a. So a of x is equal to 180. But the value of x is 135 times 4. So a into 135 times 4 is equal to 180. Therefore, A is equal to 180 
upon 135 times 4. We can divide 180 and 135 both by 9. Now 4 times 1 is 4, 4 times 5 is 20, which is 5 divided by 15. Again, 5 times 1 is 5, 5 times 3 is 15. So A is 1 by 3. So one third of X is 180. So the answer is option A.